Check out that massive bull. Holy cow. What's up? Cow? Moo. <laughs> Later, dude. Alright guys, so we are on a unmarked trail system, which I'll leave coordinates in the description box below how to access this trail. Back where I dropped coordinates to this area, there's a couple opportunities to set up possibly a fifth wheel and do some tent camping. Coming up to our first gate crossing right here. Let's see, it's on this side or the other side? Oh, it's on the other side. Check that out. Looks like there's a game trail, or it could be cattle trail, following this fence line. Close that gate, guys. I know I've mentioned that a bunch of times in my videos but you don't want to leave these gates open you saw that there were cows so for all we know as they're trying to keep them on this side of the property so the big reason with all the cows out here to be honest is they do a lot of thinning that's basically what they're set out here for they roam the forest and eat all the grass and vegetation and keep it to a minimal. Otherwise, this stuff just grows crazy. I was just about to say, dang, man, blow down. But you know what? Last person that came through here, they cut the trail. Awesome. Just wide enough to get a four-wheeler through. That's one thing I need to pack on my rides is a small little chainsaw all right guys we're starting to drop down and around and off to my left over here i can start seeing the cliff edge beautiful down there of course you really can't see through there but man it drops off several hundred feet down there but we still got to go this way and I have a feeling we're going to get a nice view up and around the corner. Check this out guys. We got into some views over here. I'm going to pull out the quad and show you guys what this looks like. Wow, incredible. I didn't bring the drone on this ride or else the views from the drone perspective oh my gosh they would have just been jaw-dropping views man I'm gonna come out a little further pull off right over here and get to some of the views that I am having here we go just breathtaking Check out this view guys. This is beautiful. Down below me is Force Road 376. That is the main road that cuts through this side of the Santa Fe National Forest. That is gorgeous. 180 degree view. Right there in the dead center. That is Redondo Peak. That is 11,254 feet in elevation. That's one of the three highest peaks in this mountain range. But man, what a beautiful view. Wish I brought the drone out here. This is a view that a drone could better express, man. Wow. Man, what an awesome view, guys. Love being out here in the mountains. If you've never experienced mountains, get out to a state that has mountains. I'm not saying that you have to come to New Mexico. Come somewhere to the west. There's New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, uh, California, Oregon, 
Washington, I mean, there's just so many possibilities. But if you're making New Mexico a destination, you're not going to be disappointed, man. Out here in New Mexico, we have something like 50% that is public lands. That is a lot of land to explore. You got forest, you got wilderness areas, you got um, BLM land. I mean, there's just endless possibilities to explore. What an awesome view. I enjoyed myself there. Time to head back to camp and get a fire going and make some dinner. Just after I left the spot looking over the edge, I found this jawbone. It's canine. I don't know what it is. Could be coyote or maybe a small bear. Coming down. Fire 
Here's a quick little look at dinner, bratwurst with peppers and onions, and I'm going to top that off with some barbecue potato chips. I threw some big pieces of fat wood. I got one on the right side and one on the left. Give that a little while and it should catch. It is damp up here, man. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up breakfast, clean up camp a little bit. Then we're going to go for an awesome ATV ride. Let's go see what we could find out here, if anything at all. If anything, we're going to have a good day, and we're just going to stroll through the woods and see what's out there, man. May see some wildlife, may come to a cool lookout. There's just a lot of land out here, and so there's a lot to be explored. But let's uh, finish breakfast, and we'll head out. guys so we've been on the 604 and right now we're on 611 says ride on designated routes please tread lightly and travel only on designated OHV areas right on designated routes you know simple that translates to 
don't go beating down your own pads out here man yes please guys cooperate with what they lay down you know if you're out here and you're trying to you know find a place to camp and you get off the the trail just a little bit you know there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but you know practice your ethics leave no trace you know that that means after you develop a spot you know somebody should be able to drive through and not even know that you camped there the night so yeah just be courtesy folks We've taken 611 for a majority of the way. We took a small branch of 611B. So I want to go on 611C because it looks like we might get some pretty cool views out that way. And if not, we're just going to go check it out, explore the area. Then I'm going to come back up to this point and continue going uh, forward right behind you guys and then loop around and find some trails that will connect me back to my camp spot. Alright, so let's get ourselves turned around here and let's go back up 611C back there. This is probably going to be a jaw dropping view. I got some awesome volcanic rock the way it cooled. Oh, I got a, a window in the rock right here. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap. Yes.
these are some pretty cool features the way this volcanic ash cooled right through here look at all the holes that it created there's one right there there and it also created like little window effects this is awesome What a cool place to come and check out. Of course, I don't recommend graffiti, but at the same time, some of this is a landmark here. And so somebody here visit this place May 11th, 1985. That is a long time ago. What are we, 2021? So 15, that's 20, that's 36 years ago that somebody was here. Oh, cool. Somebody was here. May 77, that is a long time ago, man. Makes you wonder if these people are even still alive. But look at the view through this rock. That's pretty sweet, huh? This is such a cool place to come and check out. This is stuff you don't see sitting on the couch. Get out there, guys. Go do something for yourselves and come check out these places. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back to camp. The skies back there are looking a little ominous. This is monsoon season in New Mexico, so sometimes those produce heavy flash flooding thunderstorms, lots of lightning, and then again sometimes they just look threatening and then they back out. Man, what a beautiful day out here on the trail, man. just passed the fork in the road back there or the T I should say and so this route right here is 611 which will take us all the way back out to 606 what's up guys just made it back to camp it is starting to rain and I was greeted by a cool surprise uh, right there my son and wife came out here I am so happy, like this is awesome. Hey, what's up buddy, how are you? I will make you a campfire. Aren't you so smart? There's a lighter right there. You know that could start a fire too? I started a fire last night with that, but we'll use a lighter so that way we can make a campfire pretty quick. Unless you wanna see how flint and steel works. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that later. Check them out, guys. There's my little boy. Say what's up, Kaden. Good to see you guys. That was quite the surprise to pull into camp, and you guys are here. All right, guys, I'm gonna show my boy how to do a flint and steel here. What do you think, huh? You ready? Let's check it out. Okay. These are survival skills. There it is. It strikes. Okay. Now we just add stuff onto it. Okay? Okay. There it is, guys. Teach our young to appreciate the outdoors, and they'll grow up teaching their kids to be outdoor people and to respect and appreciate the landscape and share that for generations to come. Check out my little boy guys. Say hi. <laughs> Three months old. He'll be four uh, here shortly. Just a couple weeks. Four months old. Love you buddy. Mwah. You gonna be a mountain man? Yeah, I'm gonna teach you right, guy. What's up, bud? I love you too. 
Uh, just a happy dad up here. My kids, my wife are here. Can't ask for anything better. All right guys, check out the finished product. I added cheddar cheese and the tomatoes already, but man, that looks awesome. Seasoned it with a little salt and pepper and we are good to go. So we got a New York strip steak on there, some more bratwurst and it's looking good. So what do you guys think up here, huh? beautiful i like the weather um, I like the which is always nice yeah definitely good to I get like out the of the water. valley down there huh yep it's getting warm down there it was nice to have those cool few days and then and it was getting warm so it's nice to be back up here in the fresh in the fresh weather yep i agree all right guys dinner is ready steak cooked to perfection medium rare some bratwurst Calabacitas, and of course that's going to pair well with the Santa Fe Brewing Company beer. This is the Pepe Loco. That's a good beer, man. But good day out here in the woods. Awesome stuff there. You guys hungry? Let's eat. Let's eat.